Hey guys, it's me again. I just want to make a really, really quick video this morning. Um, my video is about a video um, from a channel called um, Messiah 2030. Um, some of you guys may have already heard of it. Um, this particular channel seems to be uh, making the rounds um, recently. And let me just briefly show you what their channel looks like. I'm just going to show you the laptop really quick um, it looks something like this well not something like this that's them um, the channel is called Messiah 2030 and I am specifically commenting on what I believe is their latest video entitled um, the prophetic messianic timeline now um, basically this is just a heads up and sort of like a warning um, I'm not calling them heretics or anything like that, at least not yet. Um, a couple of takeaways from that particular video um, that are, in my opinion, a good thing and um, that we should take heed to. Um, number one, they make a strong case for um, the crucif crucifixion and resurrection of Jesus taking place on the year 30 A.D., or CE 30 AD and um, you know I, you know that scholars are kind of divided between different dates um, a lot of them say it's 33 AD and, um, and some of them say it's 30 AD and um, 30 AD is significant because um, it fits better with the timeline in which Jesus comes back I'm talking about the second camp uh, the second coming not the rapture um, on 2030. It'll be a nice even 2,000 years and um, it has a lot of um, prophetic significance if for um, the, you know a 2030 second coming. Um, so they make a strong case for the crucifixion and resurrection taking place on 30 CE. So that's a good thing. Also, um, another point they make in that video is that um, basically um, 1950 is when the fig tree generation started. Um, you know, we a lot of us, myself included, um, take 1948, May 14, 1948 as the beginning of the fig tree generation because that's when Israel was reborn as a nation. And um, they make a case that it's 1950 instead of 1948 because 1950 is when I believe Jerusalem became Israel's um, you know, capital. Um, yeah, 1950, that's their argument. Um, I think, you know, I'm, I'm not against that, and I think uh, that's actually a good thing because if indeed 1950 was the start of um, the fig tree generation, then that means the Psalm 90 verse 10, um, 70 to 80 year generation is still in play. And it, it again, it goes perfectly with the 2030 second coming of Jesus. Because um, if you're familiar with that, fig tree generation theory, you know, it, it, it's basically saying that, you know, Jesus has to come back, you know, before the 70, 80 year tribulation, or I'm sorry, um, generation has come to pass. And we all know that Israel is, um, I believe, turning 75. So, um, and, um, you know, the second coming, the great tribulation has to happen before they're past their 80th birthday. And, um, with the Great Tribulation being seven years, we're already kind of past that. And now the Watchmen community is sort of um, making provisions on why that seven year tribulation will still somehow fit with a 80 year fig tree generation, even though it's going to get past it you know, by about a couple of years. So, anyway, so those are the two takeaways from that video. Um, again, number one, that 30 AD or 30 CE is probably when um, Jesus was crucified and resurrected. And again, that's significant 
to fit the 2030 second coming, as is the fig tree generation starting on 1950 rather than 1948. So those are the two good main points that this video um, makes. But here's the warning that I want to tell you guys. Um, this video is about um, comparing the days in which the Lord created the entire universe. You know, he, he, the world was created in six days, six literal days. But the, um, the, the point this video is making that each of those days represent a thousand years. And those thousand years in our timeline correspond to each of those days. Um, basically, day six will be, um, well, day seven um, signifies the millennial reign, the, the thousand year reign of Christ. It, so um, that's just a brief summary of what the video is about. But here's the warning. Um, there is absolutely no mention of the Great Tribulation in this video. I mean, it goes over all the significant events um, in our history based on the six-day creation, trying to match it all up. And there's absolutely no mention there of, you know, the time of Jacob's trouble or the Great Tribulation. And um, even more concerning is that there's no mention of the rapture at all. Now, uh, if you've been watching um, any of my videos, you would know that I'm a strong, strong pre-trib um, believer, and I believe it's the only biblical view. It is the only biblical view. And um, I have other videos talking about that, so I'm not going to get into that too much right now. But just um, I just wanted to point out that it's kind of concerning that they make absolutely no mention of the rapture or the Great Tribulation in this video when they've mentioned other things that are, in my opinion, a lot less significant than the rapture and the great tribulation, especially pertaining to, to um, Israel. The great tribulation is a big, big deal, and they make no mention of it. So what am I saying? Um, well, take everything they say with a grain of salt. Um, I'm not saying that everything they mentioned in this video is garbage. A lot of it, you know, I think is good, like the two things I mentioned. But just... Um, just be forewarned before you watch the video that there is absolutely no mention of the Great Tribulation or the Rapture. And um, even though their timeline strongly suggests that they seem to believe that the Rapture slash Resurrection and the Second Coming are one event. And we know that's not true. We know the Pre-Tribulation Rapture and the Second Coming are two distinct events and um, the people who made this video don't seem to hold that um, view it does not mean that the Lord did not speak through them or give them wisdom on everything else that they talk about but it is worth noting before you watch the video that they don't mention the, the preacher rapture or any rapture or the great tribulation whatsoever and um, somebody did comment on that on that fact um, made a comment on their YouTube channel and the response they gave was really, really convoluted. So, um, yeah, just just be warned that, that uh, if you do end up watching, you know, their latest video. Again, the channel is Messiah Twenty Thirty. Um, just be uh, just be warned that you know they don't talk about those things, the Great Tribulation or the Rapture. And I think that's a big, big omission. So um, flags definitely went up um, for me anyway. So. Um, I just thought that I'd share that with you and um, hopefully we're out of here soon.